is a good time to invest in mining stocks. Victor, you just have to see if it's a, if they're cheap or expensive, buddy. Just pull out your chart, inflation adjusted of gold, let's say, and make sure you're looking at M2 money supply. And then look at uh, uh, historic prices of, of the, you know, a basket of miners and um, just, you know, see if it's cheap, see if it's expensive. Um, I don't, I, you know me, I don't like to try to time the market. I don't like to try to, well, are we going to have a second crash? Is, is it, is it going, is the market going higher? Is it going down? I just, I try to avoid that question and just ask myself, is it cheaper if it's, or is it expensive? And if it's cheap, then I buy it. Even if I think we're going to have a, a second crash, I would still buy it. Um, I mean, a, a great example I always use is oil back in March. Um, when I bought some of the oil producers, I thought that oil was going to go down even further, but I still bought them just because they were cheap at the time. And um, I don't even know if I've lost money. I probably on paper lost money on them, but I don't care because I'm just going to wait if oil gets below. I haven't checked it all week. I've been so busy. But once oil gets below 30 again, if it does, hopefully it will, I'll start buying again. And if they go down on paper, great. I'll just buy it even cheaper. <laughs> I just, um, that's just the way I, I do it. And I, and I don't, I see, you know, the, the way I can get away with that is uh, I don't put all my eggs in one basket, right? I, I diversify quite a bit. So even if, if that, if those bets don't work out, let's say oil never, ever, ever, ever goes above $30 a barrel for the rest of our lives. Unlikely, <laughs> but let's say that that happens and they're just, they're just dead money. They're not making anything. Well, fine. I'm making a dividend first and foremost on, on most of those. So I'm getting paid. Uh, and if they don't, well, that's fine. I've got, you know, a ton of other things in my portfolio. And if I have that same mentality, the chances of me losing money over the long term are very low. And so I'm willing to take that risk. 